Post Malone has been blowing up the scenes for the past few years and we've searched the universe for his signature vocal chain and we found it. It's quite simple, but it comes in at $12,000. What's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my home studio. I am your host, Archie Beats, and today we are breaking down Post Malone's signature vocal chain. And if you like videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you won't miss any updates. Thank you. And keep in mind too, we don't discuss any information on this channel unless it's verified. It has to come from the horse's mouth or the person's mouth. I'm not calling anybody a horse, but you guys get it. And as I stated, the most surprising part about it, it is quite simple. Now there is an individual that is very significant that's behind this very simple vocal chain. He's a producer, vocal producer, and songwriter that goes by the name Louis Bale. Now, Louis Bell is a monster when it comes to creating songs and creating chart topping billboard hits. And Louis Bell is responsible for so much. His beginning started out with Post Malone, um, Big Lie Deja Vu, his early stuff, Congratulations in 2016, Selena Gomez and Marshmallow Wolves. He's a writer producer on that. Lord, he wrote, produced um, Rockstar. He produced it and he vocal produced it and he recorded it. Candy Paint, Havana, Camilla Cabello. He's a vocal producer on that and a writer for Havana, like really big, big, big records. Cardi B through your phone. He's a vocal producer on Cardi B's record. Ty Dolla Sign, vocal producer. Future Juice World, vocal producer, producer. Lil Wayne, Moon, Never Again, um, Donda. He vocal edited Kanye West's album. So he's not only a vocal producer, he's a vocal editor. This guy's responsible for a lot of records and he has a very simple vocal chain. So let's start with the microphone for Post Malone. According to an article that I found, he broke it down. Um, shout out to Universal Audio. They put out some great stuff. So you guys check out Universal Audio as well. We starting with the Sony C800. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna mention the microphone, but we're gonna give you guys some options. That is a $10,000 microphone. There are options. Loud Audio has a really great tube microphone it is the la320 sounds fantastic we got a video a review is going to be posted up here i've already recorded it and edited the video microphone sounds fantastic you just have to do a few more tighten up but it's going to be right here if you guys come back in a week or so and also i have everything listed below in the description expensive options and the inexpensive options so be sure to check that out as well also you can do the axino which I've been talking about it a lot. The video is coming out, I promise guys, you will eliminate the what's next in the vocal chain. Like I said, it's very simple. What's next is the Universal Audio Twin. This baby right here, which is around a thousand dollars. I'm gonna tell you right now, the Apollo Twin is very powerful and portable. As a matter of fact, you guys are listening to it right now. We are talking in real time so you guys can basically understand that it's small simple easy to move around and for them to record such big records um congratulation and um rock star with this is just insane to me you guys just heard that his vocal chain there's no preamp that goes in between they use the apollo twin it goes from the microphone directly into the twin according to lewis bell he said he's just like to keep it simple it's it's all about the vocalist and what he likes about post malone it's the fact that he plays and he sings. Now, I'm always a fan of a producer, a singer, songwriter, and musician all in one package. And then you have a vocal producer and a writer on the other end and an engineer. Always great stuff comes out of that when there's a creative element to everybody that's involved. And then, you know, nobody's stepping on each other's toes. It's a, it's a great, it's a beautiful thing. He has a very nice hybrid setup there. So it's going from the Sony C800 to the Universal Audio Apollo Twin and then in to the console to where they have the Neve 1073 or the APIs, the five, the 500 series of the 550A or the 550B. And of course, I know it's followed with a compressor. The 1176, I love that. Y'all know that's my favorite compressor for vocals in the front end, especially for background vocals. Unless he puts it on the front end, he didn't specify that. And he stated also, you can throw the Sonox Oxford inflator on that from Universal Audio. I'm gonna have everything listed below. And you throw this on the vocals, you can press them to a point to where they have a lot of brightness, um, volume, and you can't get it with any other effect. So that is a very important part. When a producer, a vocal producer, and an engineer put emphasis on that, that's 
most likely where everything is coming from. And they put a brigade chorus pedal on there. I actually just got that. So I can't wait to check that out. And also let's talk about what they put on the master bus. Lewis loves the shadow hill and the precision multi-band. So this is verified information. This is amazing. Very simple. The microphone is pretty expensive, but you guys see we have some options and I'm listing everything below. I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys enjoyed this investigation. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video or any updates. And you guys are absolutely fantastic. Don't forget to be great and create. This is your boy Archie Beats and I'm signing off.